What's up YouTube? Jeff, your style OG. And on today's video, we're gonna talk about how to wear those checkered board vans. If you're new to the channel, we release a new video every day at 4 p.m. Eastern, discussing various men's lifestyle topics, such as style, grooming, and dating. I encourage you to subscribe and tap that notification bell and join us. And to my returning friends, like Jonathan Craviato, salute. So today's video topic is a result of a question left in the comment section by one of the Style OG family members, Patrick Miller, who asked Jeff, I've seen your Dita Stan Smith video and your Jordan 1 video. Do you have other classic sneakers you love? And if so, can we get a lookbook? Well, of course I do, and of course you can. And as a result of Patrick's question, I'm gonna do a whole slew of videos on classic sneakers. As a matter of fact, you let me know in the comment section what classic sneaker you wanna see me go over next. Now, as far as today's video topic, the checkerboard van, Man, let me tell you, I love this sneaker. I've been rocking it since the 80s. Stop trying to do the math and figure out my age. I'm just old, leave it at that. But anyway, I used to rock this as a kid when I used to ride dirt bikes, skateboarding, but I also noticed it was very stylish and used to get a lot of compliments on it. And I've been wearing it ever since. So the question becomes, how do you bring an item such as this classic sneaker into your adulthood, but not look like you're trying to relive the past and look too young? Well, when you have a classic silhouette like this, it's not very hard. What you do is you evolve the rest of your style and incorporate the classic into it. So although a 15 year old can still wear this, a 25 year old can wear this, and someone my age can still wear it, we might wear it just a little bit different. And that's the great thing about classics. Because of the design, anybody can still wear them. So with today's lookbook, I'm gonna show you what looks good on somebody like me, but anyone of any age can incorporate some of their looks that I'm gonna show into their look. So let's get started with this first look. Now for our first look today, I wanna to give you something very universal. One that'll work great for a younger guy or a young guy at heart, such as myself. Now as you can see here, we have the checkerboard vans matched up with some light wash slim fit jeans. Throw on a great 80s nostalgic t-shirt, like this Guns N' Roses one I picked up from Tarjay for 10 bucks, and you complete this retro look. Now one of the key things that makes this look universal is that for me, I may have less distressing and less holes in my jeans, whereas a younger guy might be a little more radical. So that way, both of us can wear this look. His will be age appropriate, and so is mine. Now for our second look today, I wanted to show you just how well you can utilize a classic sneaker when you're going for that sneakers with the suit look. As you can see here, once again, we got the classic checkerboard vans, but this time we have it matched up with the great dark blue chino suit. One of the things I want you to take note of here is when you have a clothing item such as these checkerboard vans that really grab your eye, the key to making the look flow is to keep the rest of your outfit simple. As we have here with this blue suit and a simple V-neck navy sweater underneath. Also notice how we're breaking a style rule. Remember how people try to tell you blue and black doesn't work? Well, I disagree. The blue plays very well off these checkered board bands. A nice put together look that'll work great for a spring or summer date. Now for our third look, I want to show you just how well you can utilize a classic such as the checkered board van. Grab two other classics out of your wardrobe that you might not usually think will match to create a whole new creative, fun, but still polished and put together look. As you can see this time, we have the checkerboard vans matched up with a pair of flannel tuxedo pants. Top the look off with your standard gray V-neck sweater. The reason why this outfit still works even though it's out of the ordinary is that although your eye is caught by the checkerboard vans, there's only a small detailing of the satin of the tuxedo pants so it's not distracting or clashing. A great way to step out of the box a little bit, but still be polished and put together. Now for our fourth and final look today, I wanted to show you sometimes the best way to show off an item with eye-catching details, such as these checkerboard vans, is to keep the rest of your outfit simple. As you can see here, this time we have the vans paired up with a simple pair of cotton gray trousers, and top it off with a nice button-up shirt with the sleeves rolled up. Now, I also wanted to use this look to illustrate the answer to the question I get a lot. How do you know if it's okay to wear your shirt 
untucked. The answer here is a shirt like this. With this one, the shirt does not come any further than your mid crotch. Anything lower than that is too long and needs to be tucked in. All in all, this is a great grown up evolved look, simple enough to show off your vans, but still with a little bit of pop because of the shoes. Okay, so there you have it. My guide on how to rock those checkerboard vans. Let me know in the comments section, is this one of your favorite classic sneakers and how do you rock? As always, I hope you enjoyed the video. If so, hit that like button. It helps the channel to grow. And of course, tap that notification bell so you don't miss any of the videos we release every day at 4 p.m. Eastern. And I'll see you tomorrow.